This is USMLE QA, USMLE material presented in a question and answer format structured similar to the first aid for the USMLE Step 1 book. Question, what are the two enzymes regulated by fructose 2, 6 bisphosphate? Answer, fructose bisphosphatase 2 and phosphofructokinase 2 are the two enzymes regulated by fructose 2, 6 bisphosphate. Question, how does phosphorylation by protein kinase a change the function of the bifunctional enzyme? Answer, phosphorylation by protein kinase a changes the function of the bifunctional enzyme from fructose bisphosphatase 2 to phosphofructokinase 2. Question, what happens to glycolysis and and gluconogenesis in the fasting state? Answer, in the fasting state, there is less glycolysis and more gluconogenesis. Question, what is the mnemonic for remembering the effect of fasting on FBPase 2 and PFK2? Answer, the mnemonic for remembering the effect of fasting on FBPase 2 and PFK2 is fa by and the peasant has to work hard when starving. Question, what happens to glycolysis and gluconogenesis in the fed state? Answer, in the fed state, there is more glycolysis and less gluconogenesis. Question, what is the mnemonic for remembering the effect of fed state on FBPase 2 and PFK2? Answer, the mnemonic for remembering the effect of the fed state on FBPase 2 and PFK2 is Prince Frederick K works only when fed. Question, what hormone is responsible for the changes in the fed state? Answer, insulin is responsible for the changes in the fed state. Question, how does insulin affect CAM? Answer, insulin decreases CAM. Question, how does insulin affect protein kinase? A. Answer, insulin decreases protein kinase. A. Question, how does insulin affect FBPase 2? Answer, insulin increases FBPase 2. Question, how does insulin affect PFK2? Answer, insulin decreases PFK2. Question, what hormone is responsible for the changes in the fasting state? Answer, glucagon is responsible for the changes in the fasting state. Question, how does glucagon affect CAM? Answer, glucagon increases CAM. Question, how does glucagon affect protein kinase A? Answer, glucagon increases protein kinase A. Question, how does glucagon affect FBPase 2? Answer, glucagon decreases FBPase 2. Question, how does glucagon affect PFK2? Answer, glucagon increases PFK2. Question, what is the role of fructose 2, 6 bisphosphate in regulating the activity of FBPase 2 and PFK2? Answer, fructose 2, 6 bisphosphate regulates the activity of FBPase 2 and PFK2 by acting as an allosteric activator of PFK2 and an allosteric inhibitor of FBPase 2. Question, what is the difference between FBPase 2 and PFK2? Answer, FBPase 2 is an enzyme that catalyzes the hydrolysis of fructose 2, 6 bisphosphate to fructose 6 phosphate and inorganic phosphate. PFK2, on the other hand, is an enzyme that catalyzes the conversion of fructose 6 phosphate and AP to ADP and glucose 6 phosphate. Question, how does the activity of FBPase 2 and PFK2 affect the overall rate of glycolysis? Answer, the activity of FBPase FBPase 2 and PFK2 affects the overall rate of glycolysis by controlling the availability of fructose 6 phosphate, which is a substrate for PFK2. An increase in the activity of FBPase 2 decreases the availability of fructose 6 phosphate and reduces the rate of glycolysis. Conversely, an increase in the activity of PFK2 increases the availability of fructose 6 phosphate and increases the rate of glycolysis. Question, how does the activity of FBPase 2 and PFK2 affect the overall rate of gluconogenesis? Answer, the activity of FBPase 2 and PFK2 affects the overall rate of gluconogenesis by controlling the availability of glucose 6-phosphate, which is a substrate for glucose 6-phosphatase. An increase in the activity of FBPase 2 increases the availability of glucose 6-phosphate and increases the rate of gluconogenesis. Conversely, an increase in the activity of PFK2 decreases the availability of glucose 6-phosphate and reduces the rate of gluconogenesis. Genesis. Thank you for watching our Q&A format video. We hope this helped you learn, review, and retain knowledge needed for the USMLEs. For more information on this topic, check out the link in the description. Now, if you want to take your USMLE prep to the next level, be sure to check out all our courses, which are structured to follow along with the first aid for the USMLE Step 1 book. You can find us at usmleqa.com. And if you're watching this on YouTube, be sure to like, and subscribe.